All right, so I um, ordered some new studio monitors, which will be the first new monitors ever for me. Um, so let me show you what I'm currently doing. Um, we have these Event 2020 BAS. I don't know how long I've had them, but I think it's probably around 25 years or so. So they've been around a while. They still sound great. Um, I'm planning on keeping them and maybe putting them on the desk on some isolation pads, but that remains to be seen. So um, also I have a sub. It's a Presonus sub and we leave it on all the time at a crossover frequency that works with the monitors. So the other thing we do is I have sound ID reference from Sonarworks um, to do the room correction stuff that runs on the computer all the time. So what I've ordered is the Atom Audio A77H, which are way bigger than these. They're three-way, they set horizontally, they have two woofers, um, so they're more of a midfield monitor. So what's going to happen is, um, I got new stands too. I ordered sound anchors. Woohoo. Um, they're going to set back closer to the wall, closer to this acoustic panel. And actually in the manual form, it says to put them within six inches from a wall or some larger distance. So that's what they're going to be. Um, so yeah, and I may have to scoot my desk back a bit, maybe a foot or so, just so the equilateral triangle works out. Um, for monitoring right, right now, I'm using the Presonus Central Station, which I'll continue to use. It actually has three speaker outputs, um, A, B, and C. So I was trying to figure out what to do about the subwoofer because I don't know whether I'm going to want it on with the new monitors or not. Um, but I figured out that C is different from A and B. It actually just stays on. And when you switch between A and B. So I was thinking maybe I'll put the subwoofer by itself on C and that way I could easily turn it on and off or just leave it on depending on what I decide to do. So that's the plan. Um, my monitors and stuff should be here this week, so it should be interesting. I'll plan on documenting the whole process. Um, the cool thing about the Atom A-Series, the new ones, is that they have DSP built in and they can actually run your sound ID reference on the monitor themselves. So like you measure it just like normal with the microphone on the computer and then they have their own software and they both have ethernet ports on them and then basically you can put your measurement onto the monitors and they just run on there and then i wouldn't even have to have this running on the computer all the time unless i switched to the old monitors then i'd have to run it but that's super awesome because like you know if i'm just playing around, playing synths, playing music, whatever, it'll always have the room correction on um, either way. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoy the process and thanks for watching. Okay, here they are in all their glory. These are super nice looking speakers. Um, I don't have the stands I ordered yet, but I can still try them out. Um, the backs of them, the room adaptation stuff, which is like the EQ curves and stuff, volume, power, 
Ethernet, inputs, all that. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out. They weigh almost 50 pounds a piece, so I'm really glad I got new stands. They're quite chunky. Okay, so the stands have arrived. Um, so maybe I'll do a little time lapse here of bringing them in and assembling them. They are incredibly heavy and two boxes, each of them are over 60 pounds. So this should be fun. Got the room sort of cleared. So we have some space. Let's see how this goes. All right, I got it all carried in. This stuff is ridiculous heavy. Um, the only thing I can compare it to, it smells and feels like gym equipment or something because it's like so heavy duty. Um, so I'm gonna proceed with trying to put one together. Okay, here's where I'm at on this. Um, so you attach the column to the base, with these two giant bolts. Pretty simple, you had to kind of do some lifting of it to get the angle just right so the screws would thread. And then you put in these spikes. Um, I did buy these things since I'm not on carpet. Um, so they came with these shorter black spikes there's no instructions, but these are the ones that came with the actual stands. So I'm kind of just assuming I'm supposed to use the black ones since I'm using the little metal puck things. So that's what I did. They, they were a little hard to get started on two out of the four, just probably from the powder coating and stuff. So I'd use some pliers to get, get them going. Um, so yeah, on to putting the top thing on. Okie dokie, so the first one's put together. I still need to level it. It says to use something. Anyway, it basically says to level the feet and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, heavy duty. Feels like you're at a gym, carrying things and smelling it. I, don't, I guess it's the powder coating that makes you think that. Um, so yeah, crazy solid as everyone says. Um, on to doing the other one, I guess. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that journey of assembling and unboxing everything. Um, here's where we ended up. I've um, I've had them a few weeks now and loving them. Um, so basically the monitors are, like I said, they're back against the wall. I'll stand up here in a second. And with lots and lots of measuring, I got them equal from each other. I did pull the desk towards me, towards the camera, um, about a foot because it put the other point of the triangle further back with them being farther away. Um, the old monitors, I ended up still being able to use the stands. They did not work on the desk, obviously, because they would have blocked the new ones. And plus, they're, it would have made the desk a little heavy since it's a standing desk. It already has tons of weight on it. I didn't really want to add to it. But they, they're on their existing stands, but I had these foam pad things, and that elevated them high enough to work. So um, here, I'll get closer to them. And there's the sound anchor stands. Solid as a rock, look awesome too. And, and because of moving the desk, I was able to put a little shelf behind it for all my network and stuff and hard drives. And then the subwoofers back further so it's on the same plane as the, as the monitors. 
Um, so I did hook them to the monitor controller. As I said before, the new ones are A, the old ones are B, the subwoofer's on C. Um, I calibrated the, mo the new Atom Audio monitors um, with just them on and no sub. That way I can store that profile on the speakers themselves. And then <clears throat> I still need to calibrate the room with the old monitors. And I might with the sub, I might not. Um, it, it gets a little tricky because I want to be able to store it on the, on the A77Hs majority of the time. So I'm, what I've been doing is leaving those on majority of the time with no subwoofer because as soon as I turn a subwoofer on, the calibration isn't right. So then I would have to switch to using the calibration on the computer. So that'll be when we're doing like final listening and mastering and that sort of thing on songs that I'll do that. Majority of the time, I think I'm just going to use the new ones as is. And if we want some extra bass, we can always turn the subwoofer on just to make sure it's not crazy or anything. <clears throat> so anyway, I love them. The A77 or the A series um, software is actually still in beta but I really haven't had any problems with it. <clears throat> I had a couple times where I had to restart the computer so it would recognize them, but other than that, it, it's worked fine. So hopefully they iron out all the details of that. Um, overall, I love the new monitors. Um, they sound huge. The The stereo field is, is crazy compared to my old ones. I mean, of course they are farther away from me, but like vocals that are in the center sound so dead in the center that it sounds like they're coming out of the computer monitor and things that are way off to the side sound way off to the sides. I mean, it's, it's a drastic difference from my old, my old listening. So it, it's definitely an improvement. Um, cause we're finishing up an album, so and we're starting to master it. So this, this is good timing on all this. Um, I appreciate everyone watching and ask me any questions in the comments. Thanks. Bye.